Hello and welcome to yet another video of Cornerstones of Math. Today we will evaluate the sum of these three series. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one. Here the general nth term of this series can be expressed as 1 over 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus so on plus n. And we add them up from n equals 1 to infinity. Here, we use the old time famous sum of natural numbers formula, which yields sigma 2 over n, n plus 1. The sum of the infinite series is the limit of the partial sum, the sum of 2 over k, k plus 1, from k equals 1 to k equals n, where n goes to infinity. Here, this constant 2 can be taken out to the front. And we use the very famous partial fraction. 1 over k, k plus 1 equals 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1. Which gives 1 over k minus 1 over k plus 1 here. This is the very famous type of sum often called the telescoping sum. As you can see, all the terms in the middle get cancelled out. So we only have this and this. So 2 times limit of 1 minus 1 over n, which just gives 2 times 1, which is 2. So that was the first problem. Now the second one. There are many methods to evaluate this sum. You can start from scratch and take a similar approach as in previous problem, but in here, I will simply use the result of the previous problem. That is, this series is, if we take out 1 over 2 to the front, then we have 1 over 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 2 plus 1 over 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is the series from the previous problem. So using the previous result, the sum is 1 half times 2, which is 1. Now the third problem. Here let us also start with the general expression for the denominator of the nth term, which is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus so on, plus 2n minus 1 which can be written as sigma 2k minus 1 from k equals 1 to k equals n. This is a rather simple sigma calculation, so let's carry on. So this can be written as 2 times sigma k minus sigma 1. So we have 2 times n, n plus 1 over 2 minus just n which gives n squared. This means that our series can be expressed as sigma from n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n squared. Now here comes somewhat cheeky and somewhat disappointing part. This infinite sum of the reciprocals of the squares of natural numbers is known to converge, and it is a very famous sum, often known as the Basel problem. And the exact value of its sum is also very well known, which is pi squared over 6. Although there are several ways that are totally within the scope of my channel to prove that the sum is indeed pi squared over 6, all of those proofs are quite lengthy to include in this rather short video. Therefore, in this video, I will simply use this famously known value and hopefully someday in the future I will make a long video which actually proves that this series converges to pi squared over 6. So that was all for today's video, and if you enjoyed this video, please go check my other videos, and also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in another video.